But first of all, first of all, we have to make an immediate distinction between whether the behavior is consequential or inconsequential. Behavior falls into these two categories. Inconsequential behaviors are behaviors that bug us, annoy us, and frustrate us. Well over 90% of the things that kids do around the house that drive us nuts are inconsequential behaviors. Consequential behaviors are behaviors that hurt, damage, and destroy. These first two skills are effective, particularly effective, in dealing with inconsequential behaviors. And when I talk about inconsequential behaviors, I'm talking about whining, tantrums, mild forms of sibling rivalry, complaining, and jousting. Jousting is when kids appear to be fighting, you see, but nobody's really getting hurt. So the, sort of posturing kind of thing. The first and most effective skill is to just simply ignore it. To ignore the inconsequential behavior. Now I'm sure that you have heard that many, many times. But parents almost always ignore it inappropriately. There is a way of ignoring and a way of not ignoring. We call it the extinction strategy. When you use the, the ignoring approach, that's called the extinction strategy. It means you put the inappropriate behavior on extinction. And there are four conditions that need to be met when you do that. And the first one is to ignore with purpose. It's called purposeful or planned ignoring. And what that means is that you just go off and do other things. Oh, I've got to call Mrs. So-and-so. You just walk off. You see? Now I need a, I need a, a helper here. And so um, would you help me again, please? Thank you. Uh, this is my daughter, and she's coming to me complaining about something her brother or sister did. Okay, can you do that? Can you complain about something the brother or sister did? He's just bothering me, and I just can't get anything done because he's bothering me. Just make him stop. I'm, I can tell you're terribly annoyed, and I'm really sorry, <laughs> dear dog on it. And then you just walk off. <laughs> now, uh, come back, please. <clears throat> Now, now notice, see, I wasn't rude. I didn't say, oh, for heaven's sakes, does it always have to come to this? Seems as though every time your brother's looking at you cross-eyed, it's blah, 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 blah. No. See, you're, you're calm, and you just say, and you listen, and you're empathetic. You look them right in the eye, and you say, I'm sorry that troubles you. I'm sure that's very annoying, dear. And then you give them a gentle little... <laughs> prompt. We don't call it a shove. We call it a prompt. See? And then you just move off. Now parents will say to me, what if the kid follows you? You see, follows you around. That's okay. You just keep right on moving. <laughs> and as you're doing this, you see you you're certain that you leave behind no messages which indicate that the kid got to you. In other words, as the kid is walking away and you're walking away, you don't go, oh, God, God. <laughs> No. You see, you just walk on. And your composure is still up, you see. You haven't allowed this kid's behavior to shape your behavior. That's the key. Now, if you want to have a real eye-opener, time the behavior that is being ignored. 81% of all inconsequential behavior, when put on extinction, will go away within 30 seconds. An additional 13% will go away within a minute and 45 seconds. That means that 94% of the inconsequential behavior will just go away within a minute 
and 45 seconds. Some behaviors take longer, like tantrums, but not all of them. But just, if it's inconsequential, you just walk off. I was giving a talk a number of years ago to a very, very, very large group of mothers, hundreds of them. And one mother raised her hand and said, if I didn't move in there and stop my boys from fighting, they would kill each other. And I said, really? And she said, yes. And I said, are you there to stop all their fights? And she said, well, I don't suppose so. And I said, well, how many of your boys have you lost? <laughs> at the hands of another. Well, she, you know, she got the point. Now, the next day, I was giving a follow-up presentation. Now, what these boys were really doing was jousting, you see. They may be landing a blow or two, but they weren't really fighting to do any bodily damage. And the next day, she came to my second presentation and she walked up to the front where I was getting my materials ready. I, I swear her face was that close to mine. And she said, a minute and 20 seconds and walked off. <laughs> it, it, now, it's, it's the longest minute and 20 seconds of your life. Granted. But if you can just keep from looking down, talking down, and touching down. And you just go right on. But time it. It's just almost unbelievable. And then a short time later, look for opportunities to acknowledge appropriate behavior.